Hi beautiful people, hello televiewers, lovers of the papers. Good afternoon and welcome to yet another beautiful moment to spend with the press. It's another time to go through the papers and enjoy all what the print media has been treating as newsmaking events. You are cordially welcome and we are so happy to have you with us again this Friday afternoon. We always say thank God it's Friday it is the start of the weekend and sure we have lots and lots of beautiful plans for the weekend but before you go in jobbing you need to know what is making news so your conversations can be fruitful and constructive that's why we are here a special good afternoon to all of you who just come new into town this is the beautiful city of yaoundé have fun and come this television the republican television is always there to keep you company Talking of keeping you company, I am not alone in this beautiful parlor. I have with me is a wonderful gentleman who have come to keep us all company. I'm going to begin with he who trains young minds, who drill the young Cameroonians into responsible citizens. He is a head teacher. He is a primary six teacher. You now understand why I say he has a lot of influence on the younger ones. He is Mr. Kidi Young. He has been teaching primary schools for like since he knows himself. Good afternoon to you, sir. <laughs> good afternoon, madam. I can take good afternoon to um, the televiewers of this wonderful media. You know, I want to, I want to tell you that this media is being followed worldwide. When I started following it, I discovered that you people pass out information, you give information which is credible. So thank you for inviting me to your program. I wish I will contribute what I can for the development of this country. Mm. Thank you very much. Definitely. It is his first time on this platform, but definitely not the last because I am like a red number. I always call you like, hey, can we just stop and... <laughs> this the, the papers sitting very close to mr kitty young is somebody who is mourning who understand why he's in black he is still mourning because <laughs> the, their father in politics <laughs> transitions to eternity he's also my father or he was also my father a grandfather to my kids he is a political father to many 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 young politicians and so we are going to be joined of course, by the third assistant secretary general of the Social Democratic Front, the STF party, a very big brain, level headed. He also sends out knowledge to most younger people, but at least older than Mr. Kiddy Young's um, uh, age group. He is Mr. Dr. Nda Greenberg. He is the Dean of the Faculty of Business Management and Sustainable Development in ICT University, Cameroon. Such a big brain with us. Good afternoon to you, Doc. Good afternoon, Madam. Thank you uh, for inviting me to your platform. As you rightly said, uh, it's my first time being here. And uh, I hope that uh, we are going to enlighten Cameroonians uh, in general on the events happening in the country. And uh, just to mention, uh, the SDF party is uh, really mourning the passing over of its national chairman of blessed memory, Nijon Fundi. And uh, we pray that may his soul and the soul of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Big amen. That this is your first time of being on this set, but trust you me, it is not the last time. We are still going to be having you more often. How are you receiving the death of um, our father? Uh, I must say it, uh, it's uh, a very shocking news. The last time uh, I was at the national chairman's residence was on Sunday. Hmm. It was on Sunday... Uh, I went when uh, the, the doctor uh, had just uh, worked on him. Uh, we, we talked about his situation and uh, it was unfortunate that uh, the following day, Monday, uh, in the night, 
I got the sad news that uh, the national chairman, Nijon Fundi, had passed on to eternal glory. It is not easy, especially at this very critical moment uh, when the party, some sort uh, of a transition, the national convention was planned, uh, so many plans were underway, and it is so unfortunate and very difficult for us that it is at this moment that the chairman has passed on to eternal glory. Well, do, death doesn't announce itself before mm -hmm. coming. Death can knock at any time. And when it does, we always have to be prepared. Definitely. And one thing is for sure that Paul was prepared. He had been talking to us about death and preparing our minds that he was going to leave the scene sometime soon. Joining us also is another young person into politics who for sure will be working in Nijan Fringe's steps. He is Mr. Afigua Cornelius Atabo. He is of the Northwest Southwest Youth Empowerment for the Return of Peace, Unity and Tranquility. The abbreviation is very long for me to retain it. So good afternoon to you, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, my fellow panelists. It's, uh, a rare pleasure to be here once again and sorry for coming late. Naturally, the Cameroon roads are very dangerous. I had to drop from the taxi and try mm -hmm. to just to meet up with the program. And uh, I believe that uh, we are discussing a very pertinent issue and mourning the death of an icon who has done a lot to our nation, to whom I hold uh, so dearly to my heart. Despite his um, untimely departure, considering the state of the party has been at the helm over a long time and considering the, the squabbles within the party and knowing that uh, the political situation in Cameroon needs a lot of uh, ramification, I just hope and believe that uh, someone somewhere will listen to us. The reason why we, I came up with this idea of peace, mm -hmm. there is need for peace. In my village we say when we are ending the war, we don't count the corpses. Right. There is need for peace. Whoever has hurt you, whoever you have hurt, let us go back for peace. Mm -hmm. This is not the Cameroon I know. In the 80s when I was born, this is not the Cameroon I know. Mm -hmm. My parents did not have jobs to go to, I mean to earn salaries, but they were happy. Mm -hmm. My parents were not working in any office, but they were happy. Mm -hmm. They were happy of going to their farms and returning home with their dogs never locked and nothing was stolen. Today, we have kidnaps, we have killing. We have people being maimed for nothing. Mm -hmm. We have transformed a whole peaceful revolution into a cause settling something. And we have to say it is wrong. Whoever you are, the amber, whoever you are in the uniform, it is wrong. And we must denounce it. Mm -hmm. It is wrong and it's time for us to stop this whole nonsense. All right, we are talking about the North West South West Youth Empowerment for the return of peace and unity and tranquility. Ladies and gents, the set, the stage has been set. All our guests are here. We know why we are here. The first part of our program definitely <coughs> will be taking you into the kiosks. When we come back, we'll comment on what has made news in the newspapers. Don't move from us. We are coming back after this little transition. And we are going to begin right away with the National Bilingual Daily Cameroon Tribune, which captions, Unity Palace, Le Coccinelle on Holidays. First Lady and Matron of the School, situated at the precinct of the State House, Mrs. Chantal Bia, yesterday, June 15, 2023, chaired a colorful ceremony to officially end the academic year. Find details on pages 8 and 9 of the National Bilingual Daily Cameroon Tribune also headlines Decentralisation, le show des régions. The General Assembly of the International Association of Francophone Regionals, coupled with the 2023 Africa Economic Meetings, also opened yesterday, was opened by the Prime Minister, Head of Government, Chief Dr. Joseph Dion Goutier, in the name of the 
President of the Republic, Paul Bia. The 10 regions of Cameroon thus have the opportunity to present their potentials to other countries and economic operators. Details are found on page 2 of Cameroon Tribune, which also talks about civil status, birth certificates for 26,000 children. The government has disbursed over 250 million francs CFA for 21 councils to facilitate the uh, putting this the exercise, the Cameroon, the convention, spelling out the modalities was signed in Yaoundé uh, yesterday, June 15, in the presence of several cabinet ministers, pages 34 to 35 have details. The next newspaper on our stands is the Garden Post newspaper, which ha captions to enhance security, Ngongo inaugurates video surveillance center in Douala. Page 6 of the Garden Post has the details. The Garden Post also headlines, after calling applications for vacant issue chief tenses to kingmakers mention funds on DO's testis. Condemn attempts to desecrate over 400 year old customs and traditions. Page 3 of the Gazan Post has the details of that story. The next newspaper on our stands is Le Crayon Info, which headlines John Frundi, L'Histoire d'un Roman Inachevé. Considered for many decades as the greatest opposition of the ruling party, he goes, leaving a rosary of uncertainties. The life, path, ambitions, aspirations of the man on pages 6, 5 to 7 with details. Le Crayon Info also captions Paul Bia, une fidélité rare en amitié. He is by far the Cameroonian who attracts the greatest attention. But away from that personage, he, uh, his close collaborators and people around him say that man is very attached to human relations. Get details on page 9 of Le Crayon Info. The next paper on the stands we're going to look at is L'Equation, which headlines Retour dans les terres ancestrales, les banins, Salut la clairvoyance de son excellence Paul Bia. On Saturday, June 17, Banens in Cameroon and in the diaspora will meet at Pekka Ongs in Douala to say thank you to President Paul Bia. Find out why by grabbing a copy of L'Equation. The next paper on our newspaper stands is <coughs> L'Activateur. Which captions Paris et Genève, il arrive with a picture of the head of state in bold steps. When will the head of state be in Paris and Geneva and for what reason? Get details on page 3 of L'Activateur. Like the next paper on our stands, we will look at this afternoon our next newspaper is La Voix du Consommateur, which first of all has zero alcohol au volant. It's a, it's a road security campaign that was launched by the Minister of Transport, jean Ernest Massina Ngalebibé, and uh, with other actors in the road sector. But La Voix du Consommateur comes back to the death of the comedian and captions on his left foot Necrologie more tragic de Cabrel Nanjib. The famous humorist was victim of a road accident on National Road Number no. 3 between Edea and Puma. More on that story on page 4. The paper also captions Frunti Forever, Defenseur du pouvoir de la Char des Ménages, his ambitions with his Socialist Party was to assure the population of an acceptable standard of living growing in equality between citizens. Find details of the Frundi and the Socialist Party's ambitions on page 5 of La Voix du Consommateur. The next newspaper on our stands is a Singang, which also pays homage to the late chairman and captions 
disparition de Frunzi, les hommages du Grand Sud. Find out the homage is paid to Nijan Frunzi on pages 3 and 4 of Isingang. The next newspaper on our stands is Loy du Sahel, which also headlines homage Ni John Frunzi et le Grand Nord. Find the relationship between the chairman, Ni John Frunzi, and the three northern regions of Cameroon on pages 6 to 8 of Loy du Sahel, which also talks about Siberia's Espace, La Protection des Enfants en Ligne, Preoccupe. How is it? The story is found on page 3 of Loy du Sahel. The next paper on the stands is Eagle's Eye. The next paper on our stands, we are going to review this afternoon. The next paper will be Eagle's Eye, and Eagle's Eye, which is basically parliamentary news with uh, publisher Etienne Dagge. It headlines Honorable Father Gabriel's. Fanja Gabriel's led education committee give bill number 2034 on higher education matters in Cameroon the green light. The bill was presented and defended by Professor Jacques Famendongo, Minister of Higher Education. The de deliberations of the education committee were presented over by its chairperson, Honorable Fanja Gabriel. Later, the Foreign Affairs Committee adopted the report on two bills on the authorization of the President of the Republic to ratify certain bills. Find details on page 2 of the Eagle's Eye, which continues to pay homage to Honorable Awudubaya Ciprin, who quit the scene in honor. The next newspaper we are going to have on our stands is Cameroon Insider which headlines Frunzi 1941 to 2023 Paul Bia nation mourn political baoba the head of state Paul Bia on Tuesday June 13 sent a message of condolence to the family of Nijan Frunzi the national chairman of the Social Democratic Front the SDF party who passed early this week at the age of 82 describing him as a man who made invaluable contributions to the political evolution of Cameroon. Since the death of the long-serving chairman of this SDF, there has been a flurry of condolence messages, tributes and testimonies from top government officials, politicians and political parties, diplomats, associations from across the world. Find details on pages 3 and 5 of Cameroon insider which also talks about professor kengason who crosses river mongolo for good professor john Kim kengason kengong dean of the faculty of arts and of the at the university of boya and one of the anglophone cameroon's prolific writers and literacy critics died late sunday june 11 aged 64. The next newspaper on our stands is Volcanic Times, a company local development. It comes back also to the death of chairman and says SCF chairman Frunzi dies. Legacy faces threat of extinction. Uncertainty clouds three day party congress fixed for July. Uh, that story you can find it was on page two of Volcanic Times which also spotlights on Mondoni Chief Ndike speaks out on benefits of relocated Tiko Airport. On page 3, you'll find details of how the Tiko Airport has been given another location, and that was um, early this month. The next paper on our stands is The Voice Weekender, which headlines Nijan Frundi, Cameroon's brave champion democracy giant. Find a story by Randy Josa, which is a feature on page two of the Voice Weekend, as well as this captivating story of over 100 ex combatants have heeded President Bia's peace call, dropped arms in just one week. 
the NDDRC National Coordinator Fai Yengo Francis speaks on page six of the voice weekend up many stories many newspapers on the stands lots and lots of information together it's absolutely formidable how much news is contained on the newspapers and we are back on the set gentlemen you read with us the headlines of the newspapers kitty young i'm going to begin with you what stories caught your attention Madam, so many stories caught my attention. First and foremost, um, alcohol while driving. It is just so common, in short, I would say banal in this city. Especially with these bike riders. Oh, you mean within the city or on the urban? Within the city. The urban transport. Within the city. Interurban transport. Interurban transport. I think the agencies they usually control their drivers. They usually control their drivers. But mm -hmm. human beings being who they are and what they are, they will be controlled in the agency. Yes, but on the highway, they know exactly where those um, radars. Mm -hmm. Yes, where those where those cameras are positioned. They know that as they run past any of these cameras. They now reduce their speed. Most of them, I won't tell you a lie, I'm looking at the camera, I would say this, that the national gentleman controlling, uh, doing road campaigns, they should always approach these drivers on the highway. When they go through one of these radars, they early pick up, uh, there are some of these uh, sweets they sell today, um, it has mint flavor. It has mint flavor. Okay. Some, there are some which are we call a ginseng, something like that. Okay. Yes. When they would pass through one of these cameras, they, they nearly put one in their mouth. So when these road officers stop them, as they greet you, you get a mint flavor. Mm -hmm. You won't get the alcohol. Alcohol. Then. Okay. Yes. Then, with especially bike riders within the town. Oh, sorry. Sachet whiskey. You find a bike rider very early in the morning. I'll no, let me know sight of areas because I'll be, I'll, I may be tucked. You find them very early in the morning between six and seven. On boarding a bike, somebody has, I will not call the brands, somebody has a sachet by the morning <laughs> and it's riding. Mm -hmm. A question what is this thing on your mouth for? It keeps me warm. I said, how does it keep you warm? Why That's don't you take question. a why don't you take a cup of hot water? Do you know the implication that you do you know what you are causing your own? And system? the certain has a very high percentage of alcohol. Thank I think it should be forty something percent of alcohol. Some of them are forty three, some of them are forty five. Aye. That's one of the things that caught my attention in the newspaper. And it's a campaign that was launched by the Minister of Transport, uh, Jean Ernest Masnagalibibé, to say no to alcohol while driving. And it comes, unfortunately, with the death of one of Cameroon's humorists who died on a road accident that was yesterday. Mm, yes, that was, yeah, that was uh, yesterday. Yeah, well, Thursday. Well, the, 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 the causes of his death, we can't go into it. Uh, only an autopsy, only an autopsy can prove what caused his death. So there are many yes. other things which no alcohol my attention. while driving. Very no important. alcohol while driving. All I right. look at the camera to say no alcohol while driving. Uh, Cameroonians, it's like the riders, drivers, they should have that civic education in them. They should hit to this course. I remember in school we used to sing if you drink don't drive, if you drive don't drink. That was in primary mm -hmm. school we used to sing that. Th that's true. You uh, say not, do that with your not children. Only those, not only in those days, even till now we still tell them that alcohol is not good for everyone. Especially the abuse of alcohol. Abuse. So, other other uh, things caught my attention, especially the death of our uh, Yes, yeah, so that, that will be our main topic of discussion. For now I'm going to move over to Dr. Nda. Greenbelt, mm -hmm. uh, what stories caught your attention in the papers? Uh, the the handing over of arms of 100 separatist uh, fighters yeah. uh, in the northwest and in the southwest 
you know, uh, the SDF party has been so affected by this crisis ever since 2016 till now. Sincerely, I don't know what we have done. These guys don't want to see anything SDF. They don't want to hear anything SDF. They kidnap the chairman of Blessed Memory and uh, that accelerated, you see, his health condition. You know, uh, the, the national chairman of Blessed Memory, he started frequenting the hospitals after his kidnap and that aggravated his health condition uh, which has uh, led to his death because he died uh, after a prolonged illness. Now, when I hear things like that, I am happy because uh, this uh, uh, grievance started with lawyers and teachers and then all of a sudden it went out of control and we see these are young brothers holding arms. That is not the way change can come in a country. We cannot be oppressing the same people you want to liberate. And that is why it is very important for us to educate them and make sure that this war comes to an end as soon as possible. It is true that the regime in power has a greater responsibility over this crisis. But at the same time, two wrongs do not make a right. And that is why it is of concern to us that these guys should hand over their weapons and we will negotiate a way forward. We will negotiate a way forward. Cameroon as it is now is in a transitionary period. Even given the age of uh, the president, uh, we, we, we do not expect so much from him again. That is a bitter truth. And that we are in a transitionary period. And that is why we need to keep the peace of the country. If you look at Africa, look at what is happening in Sudan. It is really, it is, it is, it is an unfortunate situation. Look at what is happening in Sudan. If Darfur was to go back to its previous state, I'm telling you, it will be very chaotic. It will affect not only the entire region, but the entire Continent. Africa. And that is why it is important for these uh, uh, boys in the bush to hand over their weapons. But there is, there, is, there is a problem. The problem is that corruption is the single greatest obstacle to progress in this country. Mm -hmm. I just want to transition uh, into what uh, he was saying. All these laws are there. These safety uh, road measures are there. Mm -hmm. But the problem of corruption cancels all of them. And, and that is why in the Cameroon context, I don't want to put the blame more on the people, but mm -hmm. on the authorities. It, it is true that uh, we have our own responsibility as citizens. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, in the Cameroon context, which I study a lot, a greater portion of the blame lies uh, in the hands of the government. Bandits are caught today and tomorrow they are released. Who does that? Yeah, the authorities. Without any we, 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 yes, without any sanction. We are talking of uh, this Sachet, how do they get to the country? They are contraband. And, and, and yes, the ban on this product is like two They, they, are, they are also yes. very right because there's, a, there's another thing too which, which maybe you have forgotten. The, that follow up, they usually. We, have, we really have very good laws, but that no follow that up. That is the problem. For example, the, yeah, yeah, there was a certain law. Yes. Yeah, there was a certain rule that uh, we should not import these same such a whiskey contraband goods. Mm -hmm. goods. Mm -hmm. But these yes, same contraband goods, goods yeah, they are these are same the contraband goods, goods find themselves yes. in this country at at ease. They are all over. They are all over. Yes. It only yes. suffices for the traders to establish their contacts they and their, their contact network with the with the, with the, yeah, yeah, with the cost with the with the custom officers in charge it's and, as easy as that and everything goes smoothly and and that is why that is why uh, there is a saying that says that uh, the great wall of china you see mm -hmm. is not the number one protector you see of chinese the number one protector of chinese is a state of mind of chinese why because an army 
can cross through the Great Wall of China. Mm -hmm. I'm talking the days when there were wars between the Mongols and the Chinese. Yes. You see, the, the, the Mongolian army did everything to break through China. Finally, they realized that they could not break through the wall and they only had to bribe. <laughs> they only had to bribe an officer to pass through the wall. So bribery <laughs> and corruption is the canker worm that we need to deal with in Cameroon. Otherwise, all are lost. All are lost will only be there for decoration. But now it will be, it will be very difficult to fight that same canker worm because from the root, when I say from the root, from the basic education level, mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it is very difficult and almost impossible to fight that canker worm. Well, uh, but difficult, but you say impossible. Is it, is it, not, is it not being pessimistic to say it's impossible to fight Madam, the canker worm? Madam, I'm not, I'm not being pessimistic here. I will take the case where a parent comes to the school, to the office. That, that's in primary school? In primary school. A parent mm -hmm. comes to the office to register. The principal, let me go right down to the basic education. The principal, the, 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 the head teacher, the head teacher says, please, my class is um, 40. Mm -hmm. 40 and people per class. 40 people per class. And I've already established the list. Some of these teachers, I don't want to use head now, or principal, <laughs> or some of, some of us who tell you that my class is 40. Meanwhile, he has not attended that 40. Yes, this is always the case. Yes. yes. There are some schools here from the primary, not, I don't want to mention secondary for the, for the, for the, for the sake of peace, mm. that buying of people's um, position in class is a normal business like an imperfect Position market. like at the end of the term, a child is first, yeah. second, third. That is, before the school admission, yes. admission all right. the class. Yes. Before going for interview, even so, <laughs> from primary schools are organized mm -hmm. interviews. Before going for interview, places have been bought. Oh, really? Uh, really? No, I yeah. think you are taking even the wrong mood. In most government institutions, and I can quote, it's 100,000 to get a position. And that's why it's 100,000, 100,000. And that's why see most of these people fight with the principals in government. The question, principles what I want to is principles. it's not about us, it's the system. The system is bad, <laughs> corrupt, <Yes>. and rotten. <laughs> let us not give up the do. Let, let us not go to the private sector. Do you know that it takes 150,000 to buy a person to form one? And these stupid Less reasoning parents, let me put it so. Unfortunately, oh. I'm so harsh. Is that not being so harsh on the Yeah, parents? unfortunately, I'm so harsh. Unfortunately, yeah, I piece of are okay. happy to go and pay this money to send their student to this school, even when there's no space. That is and the genius. government is doing nothing. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Unfortunately, I'm harsh, but the word stupid suits them. The parents. That is, that is, that is, Ask uh, the parents. is, 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 the parents. is, 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 is harsh, but that is the description. That is the word. Do you know, do you know that we are in this state, and that is why I say, uh, the citizens are also to blame. We are in this mess because we are septic. How can we instead of blowing the trumpet, no, instead, we, instead we of blowing the trumpet, we give the money. We say, oh, Koma is coming back. One hour, the one to go to the government school. Come back fair. That is the problem. Out of 10 cases, maximum should be three that they denounce. And inside these three that they denounce, two suffer quickly. Yes, that, one, that one is should, the problem. One should be very fortunate. Yes. That Okay, you say, well, let, let us, let I don't understand your mathematical. Uh, there, there, uh, there, are, there are human rights commissions that are out there to fight against. Oh, which human rights right 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 commission? You report no, and no, 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 this is no, 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 you think it's the only the problem that there's a, there's a certain percentage at each level? Uh, wait, uh, pro, what, uh, that, what, what I'm trying to say here is this. When you recruit incompetent persons to competent places, be sure of incompetent jobs. Oh, wow. Execution. You cannot recruit first school person, uh, uh, children to police officers to guard against security and you expect them to deliver. You cannot recruit incompetent persons who pay their money one million, two million to become policemen. 
when they sold their land and they expect to pay back and you expect to deliver why well, not pay back that money we are into a mess and that's why i say only peace so do they, do they pay money before being recruited as, as police officers? They, they, there's a call. We will not go in the streets. 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 Not up to 3% of them. Not up to 3% of them. Yes. One. Not up to. One. That is. That is. Well, 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 that is. That is. That is. That is. In places where there is a highest form of transparency. One. Yes. We are we are the evidences are there we are and we can prove what it. the papers said uh, mr cornelius atabong you had the floor and uh, what caught your attention as you went through the press the papers uh, uh, thank you very much i want to escape to our father's um, transition to glory mm -hmm. because it is a main topic but i want to begin with three very uh, uh salient aspects that uh, caught my attention one is the fact that the government comes out and claims that it's giving them money for birth certificate. It's, an, it's, it's a right. The government should stop advocating for nonsense. 20, 21 councils from six it is, it is nonsense. <laughs> it, is, it is nonsense, Mr. Makate. There are children who don't have birth certificates in the That country. is what I'm saying. It is nonsense. It is a right. Once born in the country, it's a right to have basic documents. Like? Like birth certificate. The like national identity cards. These are what I refer to you. And in quantitative analysis in every country, this is a document that gave us what we can do. Quantitatively and qualitatively to come out world court statistics. When we carry out census, we have quantitative and qualitative census. Since 2019, since I'm carrying Cameroon, 2005, That's we are doing what we call forecasting census. How many jokers I'm telling you this? Mr. The Mr. government Mr. has so much messed up that, it, I mean, it is sitting on its own physique. Should, should we be talking about birth certificate on the TV? I mean, it's crazy. No, there you are right. There you are. The government has fought, the government has faulted to to a certain degree. But let me, I will take some regions. I will take the east, the the Grand North. The Grand North. Okay, women in these areas, they know that they they, they, they believe so much in their natural herbs and all these things. A majority of the citizens of these areas they put to birth in their houses. And what does that go to they do? have birth certificates were very difficult to establish no. for these people. Excuse me. With much respect, which I have to you. Yes. Birth certificate to establish in the hospital. And but you are giving them a maternity card. It's to take today. No, excuse me, no. But, but maybe I, I, have, I have four children. Let me educate you. So of these women give no, birth excuse with me. no maybe I have the from excuse, any business. Excuse me. Midwives. No, let me let, let me educate you here. It's a little bit faulty there. If there are not health centers and hospitals. Where should women give birth? In the, house. in the house. And who is to be blamed? The government. That's true. The, the house. And if the women have to give birth to the house, the councils have the right to register these children Definitely. and produce their birth certificate. I know that I'm defending the government. No, you're not defending the government. Now, now, now that, that's what they are they trying to do me now, me to go to no, the no, village no. villages let me and learn. see how let me they can establish birth certificate. I uh, am telling you that, that on, the, in, on the 21st century, yes, Cameroon, that I know, is coming out propagating a birth certificate. It's a disgrace on the national level. It's a national disgrace. I want to quote it, I'm making it clear. How many jokes are doing statistics? That based on the uh, World Health Standards of Health and considering Cameroon standards in terms of finance, we should have a health center at least a health unit in each subdivision. Mm -hmm. Which guarantee a seven in 2020? It was announced by UNICEF that one of the greatest cause of women death was birth. Martina, yeah. What are they? Yeah, what are yeah, they? Yeah, 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 Vital in document. Cameroon, vital document, and then they come and say, "Give her money." I think it is food. But that is also, the one who called attention. also know that some of these citizens really don't care about having these birth certificates. Are they educated? Some of, some of them intentionally delay in establishing. No. You, are, you are a primary school teacher as, as well. The, some of them intentionally delay to establish, so that by the time they are going to establish, they, they then reduce their children's ages. I'm no, sure. Ma, 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 I'll, I'll come to. I'll come to it. I'll come to it because it touches me. The it touches me the personally. Some some parents. I won't hide it from you. Some parents are just too negligent. Exactly. Uh, see, 
when I was registering so my candidates for common trial affairs school, you can't imagine that a notable in the quarter. Some people the, want Yahoo, they are not yeah, in, in, in the suburbs. They are in the, the quarter. They are in the quarter. The child did not have a birth certificate. The child of 10 years old. Right? How is it his problem? It is it. There was a little bit of negligence on there the parents' part. There is nothing about negligence. When I asked, when, 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 when I asked, when I asked for walking, walking age to insignificant, uh, and parents have to take a hill against it. If you say after 50 years you don't walk, the parents know that their children in school surround here. They have to go to school for, for 21 years, and then they have to write on school for 10 years, and then they're already 30, walking here 10 years. Will you do the best certificate? Let us be frank. Let us liberate the system so that we can be right. I hold the government tight. These parents are not done. They are working on what is happening. Let me tell you, how long are you looking for? I went to school when my project was eight years. Today yes. is six years. Today is six years. Uh -huh. I was eight years. And then, <laughs> today, today, come. today we have pre nursery. No, no, we have daycare. No, let, me come. Nursery. let me come. The standard of the kindergarten stage you must be free mm. to go to pre nursery. Yes. But now we have two in pre nursery. One and a half. One and a half. Yes, yes. I, I want to yes. show you. Yes. Now, the chair one and a half. And then maybe my daughter, who is 13, is going to fall free because I understand the intricacies of education. Now, a child is in upper six at 24 to go to university, maybe we don't succeed after five years. And then start writing concours where they have money for 10 years. And then you succeed at 40 to graduate or to be retired at 55. That is why most of the why that I am saying that, I'm saying that, I'm saying that, I'm saying that, when France sneezes, Europe catches school. The <laughs> government has done it, the parents are working with the government. If there is a free system, if there is peace, people will. And one thing is that there should be perfect information. There should be information. The parents should know. Because when the parent comes to register in class 6, with the wrong person, the child is not registered, it will go with length. I have done it. I did the years they did my graduation in Harvard School Complex, and I'm proud that I did it. And I said, a child who came after it did not graduate. And I can stand on it. That time is an important factor. Just to condone where he gave me, where he gave me the floor. Talking about best certificate, I want to keep it down, that it's a disgrace to the government, to the system, and to the incompetent person recruited to manage competent places in a country like Cameroon. I hold our father, the president, Paul Bia, in high esteem. Unfortunately, he's tired, and unfortunately, he doesn't understand what happened on the ground. And now I'm calling him, invite people like us who know what happened to assist you, give you factual information because those around you give you false information. I'm saying on the camera and I stand on it. And not that he doesn't know what is happening on the ground, not that, not that he does, he does not understand what is happening on the ground, he understands well. That's why I like what he said one, uh, one time. He said, The public service there is inertia and laxity. He identified the problem, but he did not punish those who if were practicing this. And he's not working, then it's inefficient. Number two, I was caught on the papers by the issue of the respect of uh, uh, traditional authorities. Yes, that was on the Garden Post I was, paper. I was uh, uh, empowered as a second class chief two weeks ago. Oh, by my congr chief congratulations. And as I speak, I'm a second class chief. Congratulations. Who is, who is Congratulations. To bring back peace into my people. <laughs> my father was a notable and uh, I was honored after when he passed to glory, I represented him. He, he asked me to represent him and the chief came to my house and the questions they asked me. How can we build your house? And I asked them back, how can we build the village? Mm. If okay. the village is built, then my house will be built. If my house is built ready village, then my house is just a stone. Mm. And the issue there is, if the government continues to infiltrate to traditional rights, which have norms, values, <coughs> which the government does not understand, but has given authority to the so-called DOs and SDOs to appoint our traditional leaders in the context of tradition, I have a question. Are we living in the European context or the Africa I agree? Because the government bows to tradition. To tradition. And the tradition rules their people in respect to what the government wants. The European when, context you are talking of. When, 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 when the English came 
good. We we'll call it uh, the NA National Authority. They gave authority to the to, to the, the local chiefs, to the chiefs to rule their people and give them back information. Back. And that is why the English rule made it well. And today we speak of Anglo-Saxon education, mm -hmm. which stands tall in the whole world because of its values and facts. Mm -hmm. And the government now appoint first class, second class, and even third class chiefs to rule over people who have not voted. No, I think it's national. It, hap it, hap parliament. it happens with a certain. It, ha it happens with a certain language. Uh, that was it language happens cultural, everywhere. Cultural so entity. It is we, we happening we everywhere. Oh, we'll let, me come, let me come. It's happening everywhere. Let us. No, no, no. With the, uh, the Anglo uh, Excuse me. Let me come here. Let, 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 let me learn. It, it's my time. It happens everywhere. I'm telling you that the government has taken us down to our knees. And we must say it here, and we are saying in court of peace, let us rule our people, give you back what you want. There is nothing like we saw about the creation of the of the chief tenancy of the chiefs um, forum, what the, the Norway and South and the chief councils and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah chief forum. And uh, in house this of chiefs. house of chiefs, ninety of chiefs were appointed by the government for the government to do what the government wants. But, and but they are not our really context, busy. like northwest, like southwest, our even up in the in the north, our context is tradition gives who is going to succeed. A that is the problem. A, a that is right? the problem. But do you know that those who are appointed, or who are voted, or who are legally made chiefs, all their people are hard. Mm. And because they all their people are hard, they don't down to the tune of the government for the government. And by so doing, politics comes in. I want to quote the BLM, mm -hmm. where this nonsense has crept into it, and we're going to solve it clean and clear. We grew up in a context and a culture where our chiefs no one go close to them. But when the chiefs start going close to the people, mm -hmm. because they went for to vote a particular party, you make it null and void, and you have no right. The third aspect that caught my attention, which I was looking on, uh, about my our major for this uh, case mm -hmm. another aspect skip my mind maybe we'll come back there but i want to give uh, honor to Nijon Fundi. i've always fought him while he was alive i fought yeah. him because he was a he, he was a gentleman but at that moment he compromised and I want to think that he did his best. Lucky uh, enough, we have an SDF here with us <laughs> on the panel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a, a quick overview of, a, of, a of what we saw on the papers. When we come back, we will have our topic of discussion, Nijan Frenzy, a man of the people for the people. This is the papers. This is Camdis Television, the Republican television. We are coming back after this small transition. <laughs> If you're just joining us, this is the papers. We have as guests with us in the studio, Mr. Afigua Cornelius Atabo. He is an active peace advocate with the Northwest Southwest Youth Empowerment for the Return of Peace, Unity and Tranquility in Cameroon. We also have Mr. Kiri Young, who is a teacher, a civil society activist and a critical thinker. We have with us Dr. Nda Greenbaud, who is the third deputy secretary general of the SDF, also the dean of the faculty of business management and sustainable development of the ICT University in Cameroon. All gentlemen are level-headed and we've been having a wonderful time discussing topical issues in the country. Right now, our topic of discussion, as you can see on your screens, Nij and Frindi, a man of the people, for the people. And I'm going to start with those who give power to the people is the SDF with the third um, assistant secretary general of the SDF with, with us Dr. Nda Gribald. Um, just before we took the transition we we had the accusation of Nijan who compromised along the line do you think your father compromised his integrity? <coughs> no this is uh, as, uh, is, uh, is very it, uh, it has been a, a very common accusation in the in the recent past but before i answer the question 
let me say that there has been no other grassroots leader in Cameroon like Nijon Fundi that we know. And that is why he was so popular and regarded as a man of the people for the people by Cameroonians themselves. Now, uh, this is a slogan of the SDF. Power to the people. SDA, power, power to, to the, the people, people. For the and people. equal opportunities. The people. Who are the people? We yeah. are the people. Who has the power? We have the power. Meaning that it is a bottom <coughs> top kind of approach. It's not a top bottom approach. Now, Nijon Fundi, if you recall, you see, is the only political leader that used PG in order to communicate to the people because i quote him for this politics is all about uh being uh, is all about to be seen be heard and being understood if you are seen you are heard and you are understood it means that the people can easily connect with you and that is what made him to be linked to the people but the kind of leaders we have leading us are people that are completely disconnected from the people. Uh, some say uh, he started like a hero and then uh, he did not end well. I want to let public opinion understand that opposition politics in Cameroon is one of the most difficult things. Opposition politics in Cameroon is quite difficult. And then we are still living in a society where uh, people think that being seen as an opposition leader with the power, with the, 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 the person in power, is seen as betrayal. That is not true. That is not true. And that is the problem we have in our society. It is true that uh, Nijon Fungi started the way he started, but along the line, he realized that there was a necessity for communication between opposition and the government. It happens everywhere, especially in advanced democracies. And much noise is not spoken or said about it. But in our own context, so much noise is said about it as if being political opponents means, means enemies. being enemies. No. Right. Being political opponents does not mean be enemies. For example, the CPDM mm -hmm. lays emphasis on decentralization as mm -hmm. their style of governance. The SDF, we preach federalism mm -hmm. as our own style of governance. Mm -hmm. If you are for decentralization and I am for federalism, it is obvious that we will become political opponents. Okay. But it does not mean that we are enemies. And if I can get some of my policies through as an opposition leader by communicating with you in government, then it is a good thing. It is a common good that is important. It is not the good of the political party or the good of an individual. Mm -hmm. What we do, we do not do for the good of one person. We do for the good of all Cameroonians. And that is exactly what Nijon Fundi uh, was trying to do in his, in his, in his last days before uh, the cold hands of death took Snatched him. him away. People say uh, Pa has uh, uh, Fundi received this amount of money and that is why he's no longer uh, uh, vocal as he used to be. I am telling you, you can assess his wealth and his property mm. and you come and tell me for yourself is this the kind is, is this the person they well, are I saying said, that receive this amount of money from the government yeah. his assets are there everything is there of and, course he's and, one of and, those who always talk about declaration of assets that is in the in the constitution of cameroon as well to, to, to occupy a position of yes. the country to declare assets you at, declare the, at the end yes of, uh, his assets are there. and let me tell you something that is an opposition leader that has never been a councillor, never been a mayor, never been a parliamentarian or a senator. In fact, he has never been an elected Money. official. Money. He has Money. never Money. been an elected to, to, to official. Get Money. Money get, get paid. I, 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 you know, uh, 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 people just say he collected money with, 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 with no evidence and just because 
of what they see in the papers, no, man, in the TV. I am, I, I, and that is why, and that is why I'm asking a question. <laughs> Someone that has collected, if you Neither collect you money know. today, you are going to see how you use the money. You are going to enjoy your wealth. So it's someone it's will it's collect it's money and go and start somewhere. What would you wear? And then you think collect the money. It, it depends. What, it depends. It depends. Um, it depends on how you see it. There's something which I usually say. Whatever you are doing, or wherever you, you find yourself, there will always be the good and the bad. Exactly. No, no one was nobody has about been loved by everybody. Jesus yeah, Christ himself was not loved was not, by was everybody. was condemned. Good. I In spite of all what he did but to now, save I'm, the I'm soul of man. I'm just being curious with Mr. Cornelius Atavong. I'm just going to ask you, like, you are also daring into a political step. You're, you, it's true, you're calling it a um, peace uh, advocacy, a peace movement. But don't you think that there are also people who will be seeing it like, oh yeah, he's coming up with this north, west, south, west, with empowerment for the return of peace unity. Just because it's a context now, you also want grants and funding to be given to That is also a way of chopping from the government. Uh, exactly. I will never <laughs> cease to pay allegiance to me, John Fuller. Agreed. Between 1982 and 1990, he came to the BLM, Menji, to be precise. I was there, I was still a young man. And I remember when uh, um, Dr. Uh, this doctor, who was a parliamentarian from my place, became a parliamentarian, how much was held in high extent? As was that on the the under the NCA. The BLM vibrated under SDF. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was between 92 yes. and Until 98. the other man came in and called him for political reasons. I jumped it to, polit to, to CPDM and crumbled the whole village. Which I'm telling him here, he knows me and I'm telling him, I'm not afraid of him. So he, <laughs> so. What I'm saying here is. Now, let, let, let me quote a bit. So when the SDF was, um, was the party in, the, in, in your village with its experiment, it was vibrating. Now, after the SDF left, the, the village crumbled. There is this issue which I will say it here. Every man has a fault. Mm -hmm. And Nijan fully faulted at the level where he had dons, gurus, who could take the party to a particular height. Mm -hmm. And he behaved like President Paul Biham. No, probably he's not Let to compromise come. the values of the party because Let me I come. think that Mr. I am not challenging him. It's difficult for a father to see his daughter go to marriage because he understands that marriage is sex. <laughs> but normally, at a particular point, you must let it go. You cannot continue to refuse and call your daughter my daughter even when it's matured. There are times. Around 2018, when he said, I'm giving it over to someone to stand for presidential mm -hmm. election, mm -hmm. he would have done it. He would have been the greatest father of the nation, even though he died as our father, who is still holding the highest because what he did in 1990 paved the way for multi uh, partisan, yes. which we will never forget. I interviewed him in his house in Tarikun. When I started it, my movement, I asked him, Daddy, how do you tell me? He fought with me, I have videos, and he told me, don't dare into party, my son. Mm -hmm. You will die young. And I told him that, dying young, has always been our desire. If at all, death you know what can you're bring dying us for. success. Mm -hmm. When he hurt, he said, call me whenever you want me to help you. I have his number out too. But what I'm saying is, Pa did his own. Human nature took part of him. We, we can never criticize him, which is normal. <coughs> but we have to learn from him, from him that over his years, he never accepted a political position that would compromise his stand, Great. which I want to bow down to him. Because he mastered the political system in Cameroon very well. If he had taken the position, he would have compromised his party. That's why you see the MRC, the UADP, the APP, they're all dancing to money gurus. They take their money and leave. And that's why I thought that a youth movement, the youth I'm forgotten in this country for years, should come up. Mm -hmm. And when I created this movement, which I've deposited my document at the office for validation, that's how can we stay in a country as youth where 
65% political, I mean, geographically determined are youth. And then we are being ruled by the edge. And you have no say. We want a youth movement where we can go to the prime minister and demand that we want this, we want peace. Mm. Uh, luckily, I just launched it one week, two weeks when Pa died. I think it was divinely intervened. That mm. it, it, uh, I mean, major police should not die without a young man like me taking over the bathroom for the youth. Mm -hmm. He fought for us. And I can tell you, 99% of Anglophones in the system today are benefiting from his gesture. And, mm -hmm. and it's, not, it's not only about being um, really re very young. In, in the 1990s, when Nijon Bufundi began this movement, I think in the 1990s, it should be. That was in the 1990s. 1990. Yeah, 1990. If at now he's 82, it means he should have like 49, 50 when he was alone. Yes. Yeah, we need you to get into it. Yeah. It means that it is a call for all of us, basically exactly. among the same age group, to stand up and fight for something. But now, well, well, let's look at past extraordinary past Mr. Kitty Young. He began as a, uh, he, he, when he came from, from, from Nigeria after his studies, he sold vegetables, he had a bookshop, he was a president of a football club. Now, so tell, he meat. Yes, yeah, he, 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 he was a typical example of a real-time hustler. And even back when Pempa mm -hmm. is not in that, even he writes here yeah, in his compound in Kofulu, uh, in, in okay, Kofulu, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. he mm -hmm. has a big yard behind where yes. he plants. And Pa used to say, I will quote, I quote him, I will keep planting until the day I'm planted. That, that sentence will never leave my mind for any reason because he kept planting trees, fruit trees, mahogany, eucalyptus. Environmentally friendly. Yes. He passed all, all, all and he knows the local and scientific names of all of those plants. That is it. He was more like my father. But I'm coming back to the fact that he had this extraordinary path because people keep thinking that you must go to some big school, you know, mm -hmm. um, attend a big level of PhD before you mm -hmm. can now start launching, you know, do political science, before you start launching, but Paul himself did not go to that much, 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 much school. Do you think that uh, we have the kind of youth that can dare enough in this generation, Mr. Kirio? Madam, Madam, before I ask that question, I would like to say something that the, I, I hold late Paul Fundi a very high mm -hmm. very high esteem okay that is somebody or that was somebody who galvanized this country mm. Mm. launching the sdf he was a youth so many mm -hmm. so many he uh, traveled so in this he traveled around this country it was during past one it was during one of his travels that i knew I knew this uh, small village that shares bound on the on the mount no no the, the Mandara Mountains. There's a small village I don't know Mandara Mountain. Oh, Mandara in, Mountain. In, in the, the far north, <coughs> there's one village there that mm -hmm. we knew that it belongs to Nigeria. Mora. Yeah. Something like that. We knew that it belongs to Nigeria. It was when Pam moved around and came out. Why has this young the government forgotten something? <laughs> there we saw eh? You say why they forgot before yeah. they started. Yeah. So we thought, I said, Pam galvanized the youth. You have a vision for okay, this country. You asked a very pertinent question. I will tell you a lie. The youth of this country, we, all of us, we, we, are, failed. Of us. we are failed. We, we, are, we are almost failing. Of course. We have. We have, no, we have no completely failed. Yeah, we we have not completely failed. A majority of, uh, let me be very gentle this time, a majority of these people in office, I don't want to be harsh. I don't want to be. I don't want to be, to be that. A majority of these people, these old age people in the, in the offices, in these the air conditioned offices, they are not. Let me just repeat: they are not willing and ready to give us power. The opportunity. Power is not given. Power, power is not given. Power, power is not given. Power is not power 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 is not given. 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 Power is not <laughs> the, the, the majority of youth today, like my brother and I, we are struggling to come with movements. Even the same movement, when he was launching it, he will not tell you how the, the hurdles he, go, he went through uh, before he stepped to launch it. <laughs> Taking all that risk. 
But everything is, is risk. It? For example, Nigel from Jimmy, so rest in peace. He he he, he taught Cameroon like he, he always like eight times. He has gone around Cameroon ten more than yes, eight times. more than that. He has gone twenty one times. Exactly to yes. every this single territory. Yes, this is national yes. territory. Yes, and he kept citing another person who has not gone around the country. I'm not going to say that loud. I'm on. There is nobody now, that yes. knows this country like him. That's why I said I have no, had there's no for him. Yes. That you was see, it is was a poor what factor for us. They what, 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 what I'm saying more more to do what, what I'm saying than, is, Madam Akati, that, 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 you, know, you know, just like we are giving him all the respect, and I'm so happy to be on air and that uh, I launched this um, youth movement and I have a faction in the one which is really bustling and ready for the shoe, shoe less matched, which mm -hmm. is we are going to match shoeless. From wrong, us, wrong point expressed to the Prime Minister office asking that give us back our peace. Really? When you say shoeless, it means you all of you will be bare feet? There is no shoe. You will be bare feet? Come back. We want to go back to where we have always been. When we were born, we were not born with any shoe. Mm. When we went to school, we were not born with dresses. We, we, did not be, we did not even have shoes. Yeah, we were not moved naked. Okay. <laughs> Shoe less is I was just now. saying that we were, we were also born with dresses. Okay, let us make it dress less match. You want to walk the way you were born. But now, no. the, 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 the concept behind the shoeless match, what do you The think concept is, behind the shoeless match yes. means that every person goes to bed with their shoes. And at that moment, we are all equal. Because sleep is an end up to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless we accept ourselves. As children, so Christ say, we cannot enter heaven. Let us come back and look at one another as if we are one. Let the president see a farmer and say, my brother. Mm. Let the farmer see the president and say, my father. Let that harmony and unity rule us. Let me see doctor and say, where well, I am, my brother. Let exactly. him, let my respect to him and him, the respect to who I am. Yeah. Exactly. So the shoeless mask is, there is no difference as long as we breathe. The the air. Air. And, and that Northwest and Southwest are as equal as the center and the Torah. And oh, we are south. not fighting only for Northwest and Southwest. We are fighting for nat national peace. Let there be peace. Let us sit around them and then the person that what do you want? We say one ten thousand. So no, I'll give five thousand. No, I don't have ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, take five thousand. Okay, <coughs> give me two, let, let me train your child. So that we go back and we talk about them. And they talk about us. Okay. There shouldn't be a region, a, a division, a subject in Cameroon who is which is dying because they think they've been forgotten. And I think it is only peace. Forty years gone. Haven't fought. Should he strive? Dies? No, no. You and I should join up in this youth movement, the Northwest and Southwest youth movement for unity, peace, and tranquility. The word peace. Means everything is okay. The word unity means we are one. The word tranquility means without any offense. Mm. That's why it's, can, it's, it's coined unity, peace, peace, unity, and tranquility. And we must go to it. Mama, you are right. We must go to it, but don't forget there is something which uh, there's this thing. Madam, I can't look at this situation. Look at this anecdote. You and I are in a relationship, right? Yes. Okay. Then. Mm. Something crops up in our relationship. Taking that kid young is faulty in that relationship. And you are not all that so pleased in that relationship. Mm -hmm. You tell me that okay, kid young. Um in this relationship I'm no longer comfortable. Mm -hmm. I want you back out. I want to back out. Or alternative. Let us see how too many situations kid young would spy. Says that I'm not uh, discussing anything about it. With I'll, you. No, I'll okay. think about it. I'm a bringing an anecdote. Mm -hmm. I say, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Then, when I see how far you have gone, and I see the depth of your behavior, how you explore, how you behave, and you show. Now, I start coming up that okay, no, let us amend. Okay. I don't know what I want to Yeah, yeah that would determine that would determine whether you should be part or not. No, definitely. Not myself. I start coming back to you. Promise I can't do that, madam. Please let us now see how we can 
I start coming out. I start coming out. Late, late at yeah, this. Okay. Late at this. Mm. I start coming out with some points that okay. Um, I will not be using some words like this. I will not be using these words <laughs> on you. I will not be saying this. Whatever you wanted, um, you wanted a a silver spoon. Mm. I will give you a diamond spoon. You wanted. Uh, uh, a plate or uh, yeah, 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 you wanted a cool. plate made from I'll Cameroon. I will give you a plate made from China. China. What, what, what? Ah, ah. Where is all of this coming from? Where is this coming from? No, but what I'm saying is this. I understand your point of view very well. Win, but anything, but we cannot count the corpses. I understand him. Good. We, we should not count corpses when we, we learn from our errors. We have all faltered. The Northwest and the Southwest has misbehaved as much as the system in place. What we are asking is, can we begin anew? Because the kidnapping and the killing, the maiming of Anglophones uh, no, that, is that, not caused by the government. Uh, no, that part of it, that part that of, of it. Myself, the government has failed as much as we have. Yeah. That the is movement is, what SCF stood for, if I said the fault is is because past age and the prolification of the party grew above its mental capacity, which you cannot blame. When you give back the children as a chief at a particular moment, you cannot control all the children. Yeah. What I'm asking is, let the system understand that Cameroon of today cannot be managed by the system now. We need a renewed, a reform, and a system. This system in place. This system in place. Let me say something. Look, the, the that is the the mistake. I want to say the mistake we keep making. Uh, there is nothing. That we young people, if we demand of this government, they'll give well, us. Yes. There is nothing, there is nothing this government, government can thing. give us. Yes. Meaning, what really? this is the real really? exactly. exactly. question. Yeah. 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 Is it that they don't know what to give you? Or that they, know they know, but they are not they willing. Know. They know that they, they don't really want to do it. They don't want to give us the opportunity to tell them. And do you know what they are doing? They are using the divide and rule system Correct. to scatter us. I stand now, much this, this is what this is what I'm saying. The problem of the young people in Cameroon is uh, 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 having a job, uh, being even able to, to pay to pay the bright price of a woman. I will tell you that we pay less than years. twenty percent of men are able to pay the bright price of their, their wife. Today, today, we have so many things we are organizing. We both have every time. No, 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 I underline the word by force. That's what we're saying. Because <laughs> power will never ever be given on a platter of gold. What does that mean? It means that we have to start implicating ourselves in political positions in political parties. Exactly. I am your happy. position. You, you deserve what you are asking for. I spoke. For. Yes. I spoke with the chairman of Blessed Memory, and I am uh, proud and happy to tell you that this position I'm occupying currently. I'm the youngest yes. to have ever occupied it Good. since the creation of the party. the party. And that is exactly what That's Chairman did. There are many young people because he did the appointment one year ago yes. on the 22nd of June. Mm -hmm. So it's practically right, one year in which Henry, I've been in, the in the this position. Yeah. 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 With a dream. Yeah. Exactly. He was grooming up the young. And of all the appointments he did, I can tell you, about 50 percent 50 to 60 percent where, where people of below 40 years okay. were young people and the regional president of the south the regional president of the south is younger than the age of the party oh, the wow. party is 33 years mm -hmm. old he is younger than the, and if i tell you if i begin to enumerate what he does you will be shocked i mean in the south but so you it, see, this is the problem of the young people. Let us implicate ourselves. But now, but now we the, the young people complain a lot. When you tell them get into political parties, say, I don't, I don't fight for those positions, <laughs> I don't want to be arrested. But, I'm just married. Uh, I, my, I need to send my longer. children to school. I need this is the problem we are facing. Barista, the barista, 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 you are right. You are right. It can it can only come, it can only come from those powerful opposition parties like the SDF. It, it must not be a party. A youth movement. Or from, 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 from this powerful youth movement which, 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 yes. which, 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 which have stamped, which have put their marks. What you are saying is correct. Let me uh, quote something. There is a vice prime minister in this country who was an administrator 
back this in this uh, mid 70s when i was born he is still very active in power in this country politics and you the, the same people tell you that youths are not fighting for the in his party the his national youth president <laughs> is 47 years his national youth president <laughs> it's, 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 uh, uh, yeah, in his own party Wait. even the but minister the of youth, youth and sports in Cameroon. unfortunately is how old please. the minister of youth it comes from, it come from youth movement and strong opposition the president has told us that, that he is a youth and we can only be youth at some 50. we are the ones to bring back the age of youth geographically speaking speaking a youth is 21. and a young man is 21. And just you said the, the cameroon law says that the youth age is yes. from 10 years to 35 years we haven't talked about active youth where you can actually of you yes so what we are saying that, here, is, that is per the labor code mm -hmm. no what we are saying here is we are we, we, are, we are all giving um honor to our father who was Pass on to glory. No, he has done much in this country. He uh, did and much. May the good Lord uh, take him to rest. But we are saying this. Let our ancestors wake These youth who sit India. back home and listen to us drive their Okada, uh, drink their uh, Kitoko, and, and yeah. when you summon them in a meeting to find a way out, they, don't they go and say that Mr. Figua asked us to come together for peace and they give him 10,000 and then they come and kill you in your house. Mm -hmm. We must learn one thing. If Cameroon must change, we must come up with new ideas. We did not go to school to teach what our teachers taught us, but to teach what we have understood from what our teacher taught us. If you think yeah, what our teacher yeah. taught you, then you are equal or less than your child. My father to tell me you're not moving that forward. you don't give birth to a child and keep a stone on his head. But if my child is greater than me, then I was a father. So far, eh? uh -huh. We have this movement, and I'm calling on all the youth. That go to Facebook, go to this youth movement, tag a figure, join the link. We come together. You're from the north, you're from the south, you're from the east, you're from the west. Wherever you come we from. are not governizing against the government. We are governizing to stand with the government, to tell the government what can help the youth to succeed. We are not fighting the government. We are joining President Paul Bia for the country to be what it is. And we are telling the kidnappers in the northwest and southwest, we are telling those punching the walls there, we are telling those in the system gaining from the war that it is getting time is getting out. Watch out, and it we are coming after you. Cameroon is for Cameroonians, it is not for you. We prefer to die for our children now than to watch you crumble exactly. Cameroon. Cameroon is for us. We are coming up and we want you to join us. Want to assist us if tomorrow we have only one elite from every subdivision in the system that one elite can make a road that one road can cost 50 women to sell their food in the town at the price of five thousand plus and that is enough for them mm. most people 99 percent of farmers in this cameroon don't ask the government anything they want just the road and a good price Farm stop increasing the prices allow us to sell youth and youth of cameroon the, our national chairman, me, John Fundy, has died after doing a lot. Join us. Join us. The system, please, allow us, help you to resolve the Anglophone crisis. The Amber, watch out. Leave it or we'll start fighting you. Stop kidnapping our parents. <coughs> stop kidnapping our brothers and sisters. Stop killing. Stop maiming because you need money. Money cannot bury you. Just as when you came to the world, so will you be buried. We want peace. And we are for peace, and if it, it means war for peace, we we'll make peace for war. Mr. Afigua Cornelius Atabong, he is into the Northwest Southwest Youth Empowerment for the Return of Peace, Unity, and Tranquility. I don't, uh, I don't think we're very tranquil in that one, but yes, the message <laughs> has gone through. If, if, if it means peace by war, uh, we will technically go for it, but it is important to emphasize that there is nothing as priceless as peace. Even if a home does not have food to eat, but there's just peace, they're dialoguing, mm -hmm. they're talking with love, at least it can quench some of the of warmth Scrubbers. looking for looking for space in your, in, in your stomach um mr kiddy young you i'm sure that you were alive you were you should, should have been a teenager by the time nature of Friday was launching the sdf and um, were you among those who 
um, took to the streets also, even though you, you did not understand anything at all of what was happening, but you took to the streets and just sang. They're running with all their families. They don't know where they're running. 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 Launching this party with all whisk. We were at that time. Nineteen ninety uh, was a teenager. Was a, what? I uh, was, was something. Was something twelve, thirteen, fourteen, something like that. I was a teenager. Yeah, I was a teenager. That's all right. And when I saw my twelve by that time. I won't. <laughs> you are I won't. I don't like it. <laughs> we are sure that that won't. Won't. <laughs> Mr. Kabo, you can't imagine when was launched in Bamenda, my dear. You need to see the risk we went through. When these guys came with their buttons and this water tank uh, truck mm -hmm. spray, mm. oh. As we're marching, we knew that was a peaceful something with our pan fronts and all those mm. things like that. Oh, the blood of God. You need to see how we run. We took that Tarikun area. We found, I found myself somewhere, or well, well, Old Town or yeah, Commercial you know Building. We had to squeeze ourselves somewhere in a certain corridor. At that tender age, it was after that, then. I asked one of my seniors that, but what is our game behind this? He said, no, come on, <laughs> so now multipartism has begun. I said, okay. Whatever, whatever it meant to you at that time. <laughs> no, it, 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 rang a, it, it rang a bell in my head that um, <laughs> that the one part, uh, yeah, yeah, in a one-party system, everything was determined by the, the, party, party, in the party in place. Okay. And that party was like the state. Mm -hmm. see, now, even now, now, even now, now we see the state. <laughs> it's the state. What is the difference? <laughs> even now, so, Mr. Kiri Young, so, we, are, we are about to leave the studio, but I'm just going to ask you one. Uh, we all have one, 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 one minute each. To what memory do you keep of Nietzsche and Frenzy? We, it, it could just be our own homage, but we are opening right here on Cam this television. What special memories do you hold of? Uh, please don't call white beans because that's my own memory. <laughs> we see white beans each time we go to the house. Memories right. I have for. His life as a man for the people and for the people. Yes. Um, he was a charismatic and emblematic father. Okay. He taught us. Mm -hmm. There are so many good things. Okay. Though in life, as I began in life, there will always be the positive, there will always be the negative. People must have criticized him. Myself as his son, I him, have, I, I I said, yes. For myself course. as his son, I said, Daddy, I think what you have just done, maybe it's not correct to me. Then he will explain mm -hmm. that that is true, son. You are seeing it from that angle. But, but then, then you have to. So he remains emblematic. He and, remains uh, emblematic to me. To you, and that, that's, the, that's the image you, you want that's to the remember. That's the image with I have for him. You for see, Mr. Collins, you mentioned him one on one. He, he had advice, pieces of advice for you and your and your movement. What special, particular memory do you keep of? Uh, maybe that we don't know. We probably a, a one on one. That he implanted in me the spirit of ingenuity, which I've implanted. In the institution under my hands, Sabbath School Complex as a principal, that a day will come when I visited him, where every young man who has the opportunity will be given the opportunity oh. to represent that opportunity. Wow. Those last words. When I visited him. That a day will come when every, every, every young, young man, man who has who has the opportunity will be given the opportunity to represent the opportunity. Wow. With bribery. And corruption mm -hmm. will soon sink. Mm, and true. when I took over Harvard School Complex under my beloved mother, Madame Takang, your collect, I implanted it my four years. I celebrated my fourth graduation yesterday. And I can tell you, from one to three and four, the lowest average is nine. Without mm. it being bought. That is it. The child's true reflection. I told them that 
If you want to change your family, start now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't wait to buy a job. Let people buy you. Very important. So the and the, 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 the image of power you have, the memory is that he says that every young man has an opportunity. Every young man has an opportunity. Now to you, Dr. Nda Greenbland, Greenbald. Dr. Mba Nda Greenbald. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> as, 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 as far as um, third deputy safety general in the ASDF, what particular one-on-one -on -one memory do you keep of uh, Niger Friends? I, I, I remember him as uh, a humble man. Yeah. And as a man who loves his people over power, mm. it is a fact. He won the 1992 presidential election. Election and was dribbled. Yes, it's a fact. Yeah. He was kept under house uh, arrest. He was prevented, you see, from laying any sort of claims. Mm. And he preferred to give up that power. That's because because he wanted to save people lives. People would have died a lot. People would have died. I <laughs> there would have been a bloodbath. When I met uh, Pa, he said, I asked him the question. I said, Pa, people accuse you. I said, people, I didn't of say you. Yeah, I said, people, people accuse party. you of. He said, look at young man. If I had not done what I did, People like you will not, will not have be alive. alive. <laughs> and that is what I remember of If him. I did not do what I did, yes. people like you will not, not have been be alive. alive. Probably, probably a person would have been killed back and then you will not have been born. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> but like <laughs> Nijo <Nidia laughs> Fuji will say, I will not rule Cameroon over the blood of Cameroonians. I will not walk on the blood of Cameroonians. Exactly. To Cameroon. yes. Those words are priceless. There is nothing which is worth a human life, which is worth human blood. Yes, so no yes. matter what mm -hmm. camp you find yourself in, remember that human life is priceless. Human blood is precious and there is nothing as powerful as the voices of the people. They always say the voice of the people is the voice of God. Listen to the voice of the people and just try to respect it. I want to say a very big thank you to all all of you gentlemen, Mr. Fio, uh, Figua, Cornelius Atabong, Mr. Uh, Dr. Nda Greenbaud, and Mr. Kidi Young for honoring me this day and for honoring Cambridge Television. A big thank you to the technical team, Young those behind the camera. Join me in yes, movement. you can feel, feel free to, can join, to follow us on all our social media me. handles Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, yes. everywhere. You join can find me online us. We will, we will make um, peace a reality in Cameroon. A big thank you to management for making this program a success. Until we meet again next week, Friday, please keep watching programs on Camtis Television, the Republican Television.